Hi, we've just come down here to the apiary to have a look at our bees. During the week, a lot of the bees were flying. They were on cleansing flights. Temperature has been fluctuating here. Last week it was down to minus two, then it was up to six degrees. This morning it's zero degrees, so no bees are flying. But I've come down here just to check on the, the colonies. I've checked that the entrances are open, so the bees are out flying, they can get in and out. I've hefted my hives to see if there's much weight in them. I pulled out the inserts just to see if they're using up any stores and see what the droppings are like on it. I also have checked a small apidae I have in which I've reared a queen from last year. I want to see if, she, if I could overwinter in it. So far the bees are alive. I have fed that. Everything looking good so far but we've a long way to go before this winter is over. During the season I will have to make some decisions as to what I'm going to do with these bees. One, I can split the colonies into nukes, or I can raise some queens. I can sell them off and that would offset some of the expense I have here in keeping an apiary on this site. Or else I could manage my bees where I could collect a crop of nectar. And at the end of the year, hopefully I will have a small crop of honey. But if I want to collect nectar from the surrounding countryside, I would need lots of bees to go foraging to gather that in. So here in the surrounding countryside, there are a lot of plants going. Uh, across the road, I'll have willows, then we'll have dandelions, then we'll have black thorn, white thorn, be followed by sycamore, then we have an orchard up the road, we'll have apple trees, cherry trees, we'll have chestnut trees, lime trees, we'll have flowers in the gardens, we'll have wildflowers in the hedgerows. At the end of the year, then we'll have ivy as well. And up the road as well, I believe, there's a farmer and he has a crop of oilseed rape. Uh, there's a crop of beans up the road. And later in the year, there will be some heather honey in the mountains. Now, the bees on this side here don't move around. They stay on site. So I, I cannot move them to oilseed rape and I do not move them up to the heather. So what we'll do over the next couple of months, see what the bees are actually doing. And then we'll go out into the surrounding countryside and see what the bees are foraging on. So join us throughout the coming months. And we'll have a look at some plants in the surrounding countryside, what the bees are foraging on and why they're foraging on them. Take care.